Well, with the cost of living continuing to rise, many Aussies are seeking job security more than ever. Now a new workplace trend has, uh, called, has taken off, uh, has, helping a number of employers keep their options open. It's called career cushioning. That's what you were trying to That's say. That's what I was trying to say. And What's to tell us more, we're joined by career expert Sue Elson in Melbourne. Sue, good morning to you. We know mm. all now about quiet quitting, but tell us about career cushioning. What is it? Yes, well, I guess it's the next phase in all of this, you know, concern about work and what should I be doing with my life. But it's basically developing a plan B, which is something we've all known about for a long time. But it's a little bit more assertive than that because people are actually preparing from the time when they do want to move into something that's perhaps more aligned and they're thinking very carefully about how they can make that happen. Right, so the whole idea is to build on your value as an employee. So why mm -hmm. is that important? Well, we are very much living now in a values-driven environment where there needs to be values to the employer and values from the employee. And a lot of people are concerned about making sure that their life is meaningful and it is aligned. Now, if you have good skills, knowledge and networks, then you are actually going to be always employable. If you can then uh, also have those personal skills, you're going to be able to integrate well in a new workplace and then technical skills are always in demand. So having all of that up your sleeve is, is really going to be helpful to you. OK, how can people start cushioning their careers? <laughs> yes, well, it's probably time to update that resume and CV. It's time to build your relationships, and not just at work, although that is very important, mm. but also outside in your profession or industry. Uh, maybe quick, have a quick chat with some recruiters who've been in the job for longer than three years and keep those relationships, uh, you know, be ready for that passive approach that you might get from someone. So take us through the positives and the negatives. Is there something mm. we should be mindful of with this? Yes. Well, you know, positives mean that you're going to be constantly looking for new opportunities to learn and grow and to develop yourself both internally in the job and externally with additional training. You will be able to self-manage your career. You'll be developing your own sort of self-management risk insurance policy. But on the negative side of things, you've got to be careful that, A, people don't find out that that's what you're doing. They're going to, you know, have that spidey sense about it. But also, if you accidentally do let them know, that could hinder your career mm. and then if if the worst comes to the worst look if you've got that plan B you're going to reduce the skills gap you're going to be able to get into something quicker and overall I'd suggest it it's really good please don't rely on anecdotes from friends and family who mm. say oh you should do this uh, but try <laughs> and you know be, be careful get your offer in writing and yeah but they see have how the you best go. intentions friends and exactly family, of course. <laughs> don't they thank you <laughs> thank you Sue we appreciate it